What's up guys, my name is Ilyas and this is your 44 tutorial and starting from this tutorial we are only going to focus on Ajax except the last tutorial where we just do a quick overview and on what we learn. So uh, in this tutorial we are going to talk about in which cases you would use Ajax and in which not because uh, I don't want you guys to uh, learn the, the wrong stuff and uh, use Ajax in every case. So I, I was asked the question can we use Ajax or jQuery with Ajax to load an image externally? And the answer is yes, we actually can, but this is not something you want to do using Ajax because there is a way simpler way how to do that. For all right, here I have a button and, and a blank image, just an image element with the source of null. And so what I want to have, um, what I want to do pretty much, when I click this button, I want an image which is stored on my server, I called it image.jpg to be loaded to this container. And the simplest way to do that is to select this container, which ID is container, and just set it attribute of source to the to the file name. So in our case, uh, the path to this image.jpg is image.jpg itself. So I just copy its name and I paste it in the second parameter. So what it does, it just simply grabs the source attribute of this image container and uh, replace this value, which is empty currently, to this value. So it, it automatically gets like this. So this is what jQuery will do for us. So let's see if it works. I just click go jQuery and we see that this image uh, was loaded asynchronically and we didn't use uh, jQuery with Ajax for that. So this is one of the examples where you wouldn't use uh, Ajax to load something, to load, a, to, to load a resource. Because you can just simply set a source attribute and uh, now I'll show an example where you would use Ajax. So we can get rid of this image. Well, actually, we can rename this uh, image to div, and we can leave its ID of container and get rid of the source and, L and alt things and just create a blank div element for the most part. So now we have this empty div container and the button, and I'll rename it to go Ajax, go like this. So you can use Ajax to load some pieces of HTML code to your web page. And um, right here I have an HTML document which I call sample.html and it just basically has, uh, I'll just open for you guys in the browser, just the list with items and stuff. And um, let's just imagine we want to uh, add some piece of external HTML code to our web page using Ajax. And uh, this is something where, we, of course, we have to take advantage of Ajax. So let's just start doing that. And you know, the simplest way to do that is to use this get function, because this get function is very simple. You just, um, well, what you do, you just go like this. You uh, provide, you just write the path to this document you're, you're acquiring which is sample.html and the second parameter is a function which will run when the request is over and this data parameter is a variable and its contents it contains the contents of this sample.html document so we can just go ahead and display it to the container so we can just go ahead and set the container and say container.html should be equal to this data now let's just go ahead and test it. I'll just click go Ajax go and Ajax loaded the things for me. So these are like the most simple, um, like the, the simplest ways how to use Ajax using this get uh, function. And the other common functions which we use um, in jQuery to work with Ajax are post and we already use this post um, function it creates just a post request to the server and there is also a function called Ajax. So uh, in these tutorials we will learn more about Ajax, post and get and the differences between of them. 
So I hope you guys like this tutorial and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the 45th tutorial.